Hey, how's it going? Today, we're in a brand new modded Minecraft survival world. The mod pack we're starting here is the third edition of Vault Hunters. For those of you who've never heard of it, Vault Hunters is a mod pack made by Iskal85 and his team that involves running procedurally generated dungeons, also called vaults, where you have some objective to complete and lots of loot to grab along the way. As you progress through the mod pack, you're going to level up your player and unlock new skills, and you can also unlock new mods that will help further you in the vaults. Let's get started and check it out. Now, before we can start running some vaults, there's a few uh, basic bits of groundwork we're going to have to set up. We're going to need to create ourselves a vault portal. Now, a vault portal is going to be made out of some different blocks. I think they're called, I think it's like vault cobblestone. Um, a vault cobblestone generally spawns deep underground. So we're going to have to look for some of that, mine it up and, and bring it to wherever we want to build our portal. We're also going to need a, a vault altar. A vault altar is going to let us kind of infuse the crystals and then we take those crystals and we put them in a portal and that will get us in our first vault i think first things first we're just gonna have to do some of the basic minecraft things uh maybe set up a little temporary shack and uh and then start digging because i want to get in a vault as soon as possible here so uh looks like we got some nice caves started up around here already Now, looking at the, the mini-map here, it looks like we're in this highland biome from the Terralith mod. I, I kind of like it. I do like the color of the grass in here. It's pretty bright. Um, it would be a nice biome to set up in. It's pretty flat. and uh, could do a lot of nice building here, I think. So I think we'll probably stick around here. Um, looking nearby, I don't really know what much of this is. Lots of red sand. Um, I am thinking that up in the top, those patches of grass in the top left there might be the signs of a village, so that might be worth checking out sometime soon. Um, but to start, yeah, let's just settle somewhere. I'm thinking we'll just head up a little bit through here and look. Gonna get our first pickaxe. Not for long though, I'd like to upgrade it to stone. Oh, ho, ho, ho. big cave. I like the sound of that. Um, kind of spooky looking. Some skeletons there. We are going to need to go in one of these caves to, to try to find the vault stone that we're looking for. So this is probably a pretty good one to get started in, but we'll, co we'll come back to it. I don't really want to deal with it just yet until we get some food. Maybe a little shelter set up. So. Ah, off in the distance, looks like that might be that village we spotted on the map. Or no, it's different. Not the same. But we will check it out nonetheless. No. No. Hello? Anybody? Okay, okay, here we go. Now one of the neat mods that Vault Hunters adds is a mod called Easy Villagers. What Easy Villagers lets us do is right in here you can see there's a Cycle Trades button. So if your villager doesn't have a profession locked in, you can click this and it'll cycle the trades. So similar to as if I were to, to break the job site blocks and replace it down in, uh, in vanilla Minecraft. It just does that and saves you some of the time. Um, now alongside that and uh, the other perks of easy villagers is I can shift right click and pick up the villager to carry him around and then uh, place him down wherever I want. So right now it's probably not a bad idea to pick up some of these guys just to save them for um, trading at my base wherever I do eventually set it up. Steal these, they're always good to have. I'm thinking we probably kill the iron golem. Four iron from that guy. Nice. Hey, buddy.
What do we have? Uh, wheat seeds. Bread's a nice one. Right away, I always like to use a bucket. Time to head back into the highlands there. I want to get something set up. Cave or something right here? Oh, holy smokes. That's a big cave. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to check all that out. Another village on the water? I'm thinking then, I think, I think we're gonna set up our base right across the water here maybe. Yeah, let's go check this out, because this looks nice and flat right here. Another village. Yeah, let's build in here. This is a nice area. <laughs> I don't know why they're all crowded around this wall. We're just gonna start to hoard lots of these guys. So I've taken a little bit of time here and I have built us uh, a little starter shack. Uh, I've thrown up a couple of little farms here just for uh, some wheat, pumpkin, melons. So the start of some sugar cane down there. Um, it, it, it's not much, but it's obviously just the groundwork for something bigger to come. Um, I'm really liking the look of this area and I got some big ideas brewing. Um, but first, I would like to take a look at some of the mod options available to us down the line. I think default the button to open the menu here is H in the the Vault Hunters here. And it'll open up your inventory. It's got a, a detailed stat screen. I don't know what too many of these do right now, but uh, I'm sure we'll learn along the way. Um, but along the top here, we have a few different categories. We have our stats, we have abilities, we have talents, the archetypes and researches so researches is what i'm interested in here at the minute these are some of the different mods we can unlock big mods has some has some big name ones mechanism batania create and then some really handy ones for within the vault i know are this this looting category it mostly comes down to this pouch mod um pouches are, are basically a backpack that lets you carry lots of items and there's going to be lots of upgrades we can do to them along the way to make looting faster and uh, more efficient um, obviously right now we, we can't get anything. We can't get any of these mods unlocked. You'll see if I click on something like create in the bottom here, it says research. It tells me six. So what that means is that means that I need six knowledge to unlock this mod. Now knowledge is gained by consuming knowledge stars and knowledge stars. We can't get them yet. We, we can only get them once we run a few vaults and a knowledge start does take a bit of resources to craft but we can make them ourselves so now onto some of the other ones um there are abilities as well like an unlock i know that vein miner is an ability in here vein miner is a very common mod that'll let us break lots of blocks at once very handy um some of the the cool ones are dash or heal it's important to note that within the vault you actually can't heal normally um if your hunger is full you're not going to heal you have to have healing potions or this heal ability unlocked to be able to heal within the vault so it makes the first couple of vaults a little scary without it but i'm thinking that's going to be the first one we want to go for once we once we get in the vault okay now that we have familiarized ourselves with some of what's available to us in the pack i do want to go mining so let's make ourselves a nice new iron pickaxe and then we have everything on us that we need in case we have to make 
replacement stone pickaxes. So I'm thinking the best thing to do for mining is going to be for us to go down to that big cave that we saw earlier and check out what's available to us there. So I'm going to head over there and I'll see you when we're back. Just coming up on that big cave now. And it is just as big as I remember. Holy smokes. Um... We are now entering the deepest, darkest parts of the underworld. Um, this is probably where we are most likely to find the, the vault stone and the chromatic iron that I'm looking for. So I'm going to keep digging and hope to find some soon. So I just walked into this big room in a cave here and I see this red thing over here. And what this red thing is, is I believe it's some sort of like ambush spawner. If I walk close to it, it's going to explode and shoot a bunch of mobs out. Luckily, I have dealt with these before in other mod packs and I know trick to handling them. So basically all I have to do is cover it before it explodes and blocks and the mobs will suffocate. Here it goes. I'm gonna cover it. Just like that. And now we let them die. And I think they drop kind of uh, weird food pool. So. It does sound like there's a few cave spiders alive in there, so we, I don't trust it. We're gonna cheese those. Like this. Or if I go. Like this. I can see them. There we go. Easy. And Sounds like the last of them. So, let's see. What did they drop? What did they drop? Spider high. Flash. Creeper heads. Bone blocks. But bone blocks are nice. Lots of bone. Give us lots of bone meal, so. First diamonds found next to some pots. Let's, let's see. Let's mine it out. How many diamonds? How many? Hit two. Two diamonds. Two diamonds. The number to beat. Number to beat is two diamonds. Two diamonds. And it's just two diamonds. Good start. And actually, I think that's all we need for our vault altar, though, isn't it? Just two. But I do need. Oh, we need one. But I need obsidian, so we're going to need some more diamonds anyways to, to get the obsidian. More diamonds. Yeah. Oh, okay. They are heavily guarded. Let's get those diamonds. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? It's looking like one. One. Yeah. Let's see another one. Two. Oh, okay. And right here, right by those diamonds is that vault stone we were looking for. Perfect. Okay. Oh no, that went bad, that went bad, that went sideways. Oh no. <laughs> Vault stone, here we go. So this will definitely be enough to make a portal. Um, we're gonna mine enough of it to make a couple crystals because you'll see, um, yes, here, this chipped vault rock. I think about one in 10 of these stones you mine will drop this chipped vault rock and chipped vault rock, four of those plus one chromatic iron makes a vault rock, which we need to make a crystal, so. 
Okay, I mined out one whole vein of the vault stone there, and we ended up getting a lot of vault cobblestone and 35 chip vault rocks, which should be enough for eight, um, eight vaults that we could run with that once we find the chromatic iron. Um, so this is a, a ton for now. I'll probably run to the surface, drop some of this stuff off, and then go back looking for more chromatic iron because we have yet to find any, and that's the one thing holding us back right now from running some vaults. So. I'll, uh, I'll be back once uh, I have a little more. So I just got back to the house here and I uh, was dumping off some of my items and I found out that there is a glass item frame you can make that works a little bit differently from a regular item frame. So immediately you'll notice, obviously it looks different, but when I place an item in it, the item frame itself disappears and it just shows just the block right on it. Now the benefit to these glass item frames is I can click right through them so I can label my chest with them and click right past them whereas with a regular item frame if I put something inside it here when I try to right click it just rotates the item in the frame. The glass lets me get past that and also makes the item a little bigger so super simple recipe as well it's just a regular item frame surrounded in glass panes. So I think I'm going to use these here to organize my chests quickly. We're sorting through the chests here before I head back out in search of chromatic iron and I figured I would make some iron armor here just to keep me alive a little longer. Um, I tried to make a shield but I guess the shield recipe is disabled in the mod pack. Um, probably because there are vault shields that I can get later on which are special shields that work a little differently. Um, so I'm not going to have one of those right now. but. Um, I figured I would make iron just to keep me alive a little bit more. So back out in search of chromatic iron. Uh, I'm going to go do that now. Okay, so we're back down here in the caves, and I think I may have a sight line on what we're looking for. Um, in this huge cave here with all the spooky spider webs, uh, I walk down and I see this huge lava pool. Now, looks amazing. And... Um, it's a little scary and intimidating. I, I don't want to get knocked off here, so i got to keep checking behind me. But I think I see some more diamonds there, there, maybe there. And and where was it here? I saw, I think it's the chromatic iron. There, right there next to that lava. That stuff seems like it's the chromatic iron. It spawned in a very big vein, which I think it does. Um, So... I'm going to get down there and take a look at it. Uh, I'll probably just drop some water down and ride it down, honestly. Um, safest way, I think. And then I can uh, collect some obsidian while I'm down there, too. Drop right on. We're good. Perfect. Safe and sound. Now we're going to light it up before anything spawns on us. That looks like chromatic iron to me. Now, it's got a really, really nice texture. kind of pulses and changes color slowly. It's like fading in and out. But... Oh yeah, that's this stuff. Chromatic iron. So with this, we can smelt right into the chromatic iron ingots and then use that for tons of different modded items throughout the, throughout the mod pack as we unlock them. So I'm going to mine this up. I'm probably going to collect diamonds, grab some obsidian, and then we will meet back at the surface. While I'm saying all this, I'm noticing too, there's another thing of chromatic iron over there. So we'll grab that as well. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tally it all up for you afterwards. So I was mining some of that chromatic iron and I think I found a spider spawner in a little dungeon here. At least that's what it looks like on the mini map. So I'm gonna poke around a little bit here. See if it takes me to it. Um, there it is, and sure enough, it is a spider spawner. Um, I guess we have to get in there and light it up somehow. If I pour water in it, I don't know. We're gonna have to go from the side, I think. Oh no, that is bad timing. I don't have another pickaxe and no wood on me <laughs> to make another one. Mm. Okay, we are back at the spider spawner with a new pickaxe here. So I would like to loot it and finish lighting it up so we can just <laughs> run in easy as that now that there's no spiders. 
Um, one single chest in here. Let's see. Bring mana steel from Batania. Gunpowder saddle, wheat. Music disc, cat, and a blank rune from Quirk. Okay. You can already kind of see how much chromatic iron I've gotten from some of those veins so far. I think I'm going to save a waypoint for this for later, just in case we ever want to farm spiders, um, in case we need eyes or string or something. So we will save a waypoint, have this on the back burner for if we ever want to come back. Okay, so we're back here at the surface um, with a, a lot of chromatic iron in tow. And uh, a wandering villager actually just spawned outside that had something interesting here. He had these ultra vector plates, so I bought them from him. It was eight emeralds for these four. Now, looking at the recipe for these, they look to be pretty expensive. They take perfect echo gems and a pog. I don't really know how we get all those yet, but we'll see. They just look fancy and expensive, and it's just layer and layer and layer of vector plates. So they, they seem to be expensive, but... These are super neat because I believe they work <laughs> like a conveyor belt. You can see they actually teleport me, basically, is how fast these ones are. Um, so these might be useful in a mob farm or something down the line. But, um, yeah, they're pretty neat. They're pretty, pretty neat. We walked away with about four and a half stacks, so tons and tons. That should last us for quite some time, I hope. We'll get our two chromatic iron. We'll piece those together and make this vault altar. Um, there's one there, two obsidian and vault altar, or the vaulter for short, as it says. Um, I think we'll put it right here for now in the corner. Our vault rock and some chromatic iron here, and we make a vault rock, which we will then put on the pedestal here. And it's going to ask us for some stuff. Four copper, three seeds, seven arrows, and two stone. And then that's how we charge it. Um, I have two stone already, so we'll put that in. And seeds. We need three seeds. Okay, we're back with some copper here, so we can fill that in on the vaulter. And two arrows. And... Gosh, I think we need a button. And then the button can go on here. And that'll charge our crystal up. So it consumes all those resources, and I think every crystal requires different ones. So we got a vault crystal, level zero, objective unknown, theme, and layout unknown as well. Now, before we can use the vault crystal, we are going to need somewhere to put our vault uh, portal the the big portal that we'll have to set up and We use this crystal on it and it will open a path into the vault So we'll have to set something up So I think I will set up a little area out here for it and we'll be back when that's all done Okay, so after admittedly too much time, I have came up with something that I, I think works really, really well for um, our portal, and it's at the end of our uh, crops here. So I, I kind of wanted to go for some sort of like old ruined looking uh, altar piece. Got these tiki torches lining it here, and then I moved our vault altar to the middle, and then right here is our vault portal. Neat little fact about this spot is when the sun is rising, it rises right through the portal, which I think looks super, super cool when we're over here, if you see the sun rising. With all of this, we, we have everything we need to run our first vault, so I think we should just kind of do it. Um, I mean, I, I think that about does it. That's, that should be all I need. Um... But uh, let me just go double check. I'm afraid.
Okay, so I actually did go ahead and grab something else. I, I've seen people use crossbows in the vault, so I figured I'd make one and I brought a couple arrows with me. So without further ado, let's just do it here. First vault, here we go, here we go. Dum 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 d